Pisces, welcome to your three month reading. We are going to take a look at what is coming your way as we are entering July, August, and September. July is already just a few weeks away. So Pisces, let's go ahead and begin. Pisces, we're gonna start with your power oracle messages. And I do have a secret that I need to share with you. This may benefit my regular subscribers, also known as my MVVs, my most valuable viewers. I'll tell you in a bit in I'll tell you towards the end of the reading. Yeah. Okay. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's take a look at your oracle. Pisces. July, August, September for Pisces. What is coming? your way Pisces Pisces you know your guys' reading is always so entertaining I'm excited I always get so excited to do your readings Pisces because it's never a dull moment I feel like with you too just in life people are just it's never a dull moment with a Pisces in their life am I right Pisces Pisces oh okay looks like there we go we have our deck and all right, so we have, first we're looking at the energy of cooperation. Your goal can benefit from you surrounding yourself with like-minded people. All right, so we have the energy of cooperation coming up. Next, we have cycles. The wind blows, the wheel turns, we go through cycles just like nature because we are a part of nature. Interesting. All right. So that's your second oracle energy. Third, visualize. When we develop our abilities to visualize, we can manifest maximum influence on our experience of reality. Okay. Beautiful. And then your fourth one, Pisces, we are looking at wounds. Ooh. Withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples action. Wow, I'm excited to get started. So let's go ahead and get your tarot cards here as we look at July, August, September in these next three months. And I guess I'll just share the secret now <laughs> so you get an opportunity to do this. I, uh, by popular, you know, request from my regular viewers, you guys wanted me to do, you know, be, be open for personal readings. And while I would love to do thousands of personal readings for you, I really don't have the time in the day. However, however, what I have done is I opened up a small amount of monthly power card readings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer an opportunity where members will get a little mini reading each month and that mini reading will include a power card, okay, your focus card, your focus energy that I'm gonna shuffle through and we are going to um, clarify that power card for you, okay? So it's almost like um, a focus affirmation, a focus card, a suggestive energy to tap into each month. If you're interested in that Pisces, I will link down below my Patreon. I did start a Patreon so that way it can hold that monthly subscription if you're interested in it because some of you wanted to you know receive like monthly um like readings so while i can't do a full you know hour or 30 minute this will give you a little snippet of a personalized two to three to five minute um reading each month okay so you can see more details down below in my patreon link along with um if that is sold out then i also have the tier where you can sign up for collective readings I'm going to do. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Let's go ahead and start, Pisces, with your... Oh, well, just as I said that. Interesting how this death came in reverse. I will read this in reverse, but I will put it here so we can see it upright. Okay. So let's see, we are looking at cooperation with Five of Cups. Mm. Now, 
especially if you are finding yourself being very creative, okay, as just an imaginative person, Pisces, you're very, you're very, well, of course, creative, okay? Like, you have a great imagination, you are very passionate, you're a really big dreamer, and sometimes you can get easily disappointed or let down when you share, okay, your dream, your vision, your love, and it's not reciprocated just as powerfully, <laughs> okay? And, or sometimes you feel like what I'm seeing here is that what you have to give, you're not surrounded by the right environment where they receive it um, in the way that you want to be received. So being that this is under the energy of cooperation, in these next three months, Pisces, you could benefit from surrounding yourself with like-minded peers, artists, okay, mentors, um, a community, because what you're interested in or maybe what you need, it's there, it's out there for you, but you're, you're maybe just not in that right space. If you need healing, okay, maybe you need to be in the right environment to heal. Maybe you need the right friends to to um, to have a positive influence. Maybe you need to reach out to other artists and creators to feel like what you're doing isn't, you know, silly. So there's something here where you're looking into some type of sadness, but you're feeling empty. These five of cups feel very, very empty, but I see the sun in the distance showing that it's not as bad as it seems okay you're looking into the emptiness figuratively speaking but there's a lot to be happy for there's a lot of optimism coming your way i think it's just um what you choose to focus on hmm i'm also hearing something about like letting go of things that make you feel empty okay letting go of things that make you feel empty or people that give you false hope or make you feel depleted uh, or take so much from you that you have nothing left. Reciprocation is very, very key. I'm, I'm hearing in the next three months, whatever you pour out into, you're looking to receive that just as much. So put yourself in that situation where you can actually receive what you put out. Because I think that's where disappointment stems from too. When you give, 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 and that expectation is not met with that um, with you receiving. Also, when it comes to relationships, too, okay, if you have certain expectations, I'm hearing like if you have certain boundaries, expectations, if you have certain desires, speak that, speak, speak on that, or speak out on that, because some of you may just be sitting in that sadness, or you be, you may be sitting on that hope hoping that that person will understand you or they will hear you but communication with cup energy is very key too. be open to communicate what it is that you're trying to benefit from or hoping to benefit let's see as we look at cycles oh this card flipped over let's see we have four of swords oh resting four of swords now again i i feel like this is really geared towards i mean this is collectively all of you but especially those that have been on the go 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 lately there's a lot on your mind and that's one thing i know about my pisces you guys again you're very big um with your your vision your your dreams your your goals but that could also cause burnout or being overwhelmed there's so many things that you want to do in your life or in this season but just be careful because it could lead to you being fatigued um, it could also lead you to deplete a lot of your necessary energy to accomplish those goals or those desires so as we look at the cycles okay the cycle, the rest is going to be very, very key, uh, especially if you are a creator, an artist, or when it comes to your job, your career, I see rest is going to be very, very key and imperative for not only your spiritual growth, your mental health, um, but also physically too, mentally and physically. You need to rest physically and mentally, okay? The Four of Swords 
it does tap into elimination in some regard, eliminating things that just aren't worth being in your space because it's taking up too much space, okay? So in your day-to-day -day routine, Pisces, what can you do to eliminate space or eliminate things that are taking up unnecessary space in your time, in your bubble, in your life, okay? Think about that. What can you cut out of your routine or your day that will make you feel more productive, that will make you feel maybe more motivated, that will make you feel happier, that will make you feel recharged? Who do you need to distance yourself from? Or maybe what do you need to distance yourself from? I'm also hearing some type of like, maybe it's like social media too, because I'm seeing the sword energy. So it's tapping into air, air um, into your psyche. And this person, their eyes are closed. So also the things that you consume cons can consume you. So if you're always, you know, on TikTok or if you're on social media, if you're consuming like the news, or maybe if you're just dealt with, um, you know, like just negativity and gossip, taking a break taking a rest also like maybe at some type of like detox all right let's see next card coming in for pisces i'm also going to pull your um oracle crystal card too let me take this top card that came through we have the queen of pentacles hmm Queen of Pentacles, this is tapping into support and nourishment. Whatever your passion, okay, this is a great time to invest in your passions and in your interests because with that investment, I definitely see it growing because we see here with this Oracle message, when we develop our abilities to visualize, we can manifest maximum influence in our experience of reality. And the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, this is so fitting because she represents that. She invests, okay? Look, she is a nourisher. Like she's nurturing, nurturing um, the bull here. So the, the earth, okay? So something that's rooted in this physical realm, what is it that you wish to, to invest in and nourish? Because there may be something there, Pisces, where it can expand and grow bigger. What is your seed? of intention if you think about a garden think about that seed okay what type of seed are you trying to plant because once you plant that seed it can grow all right it will maximize you can visualize that garden that you're trying to develop what is it that you're trying to plant because once it's planted it has the ability to grow into this lush garden so if you're trying to plant you know a beautiful credit score for yourself or if you're trying to grow a family if you're trying to grow a business if you're trying to grow like a healthier version of yourself you are wanting to grow a, a family okay your business your art whatever it is that you want maybe it could also be your career you're trying to move up think about that seed in the next three months and i guarantee you the more that you know that ex expression goes wherever your um your attention goes energy flows okay wherever your attention goes energy flows so if your attention is on getting the maximum positive results it can become your reality i see it becoming your reality by the third month somewhere i would say even around august you might start to see those signs sprouting out here for you now as we look at wounds we have the death card but remember it showed in reverse and it's under the the wounds withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples action is not fit, fitting how the death shows up here as being like closed something ending but i see for some of you pisces i see you um not that vengeance is sweet but there's somewhere here where you're being like revived or what you're being like re incarnated into is something that you've learned from the past but you're not bringing the past into your future instead you are like rising up and you're like conquering through the defeat even though that defeat may have left you feeling stuck or paralyzed for a short period the death in reverse is showing like it's like uno reverse right it's like uno reverse like oh you thought i was you thought this was the end of me you thought that i was going to you know uh be 
at the end you thought that maybe this was going to be the last of this opportunity or the situation but there's more there's um it's like a new season of you okay you know when you watch a tv show like the, the season one ends and you're like okay that's it you don't think there's a new season and it's like oop, surprise season two <laughs> it's like a version 2.0 of you pisces so there's something here where spirit is saying like don't let something from the past cripple you to the point where you don't want to move on or you don't have belief in your your life or your abilities or your craft um don't let that cripple like your your action okay it's time to learn from that experience but then proceed and be bigger and better rise up from the dead metaphorically speaking like rise up from the ashes very interesting let's see what else we have coming in the next three months and then I'm going to do your oracle card, Pisces. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me get one more. So your second row, we have Judgment, Nine of Pentacles, The Fool. Let me get one more here for you, Pisces. One more. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, and the mighty Ace of Swords. You know, that's one thing about you too, and I'm sure you can agree. My water signs, you're very spiritually connected, especially you, Pisces. You know you have all of the other 11 horoscopes collectively <laughs> within you, okay? You have a little bit of the air signs, earth signs, um fire signs and you know of course water signs all within you but th those other traits you're kind of like that um you're kind of like that pot of stew that has like a little bit of everything poured into one and it comes out so delicious and that's what i see here like with judgment is that like there's so much about you okay you're very multifaceted i always say this there's so much about you and it's really hard to put your the people's finger on like what it is about you. But I think that's what makes your walk of life so unique is that you are unique. And I see in the next three months here, you embracing your uniqueness and being authentic and, and like you're following like your calling or you're following like a higher mission or a higher understanding of what it is that you're meant to do, that you're placed on this earth to do um some of you too you are the you have been chosen or you're going to see signs of how you have been chosen to let other people to make them feel seen okay that pretty much got deep because a lot of you are healers in your own special way and i see you drawing in attention whether you're a professor, a teacher, you're in the medical field, you're a creator, I mean, just maybe at your job, maybe just even being in your social community with amongst your peers, something about you, you draw like influence, okay? Like people like reach up to you. They want to touch you. They, they listen to everything that you have to say because they like honor you, respect you. They, they, um, they're inspired or in awe of you. So look out because in the next three months here, Pisces, I do see more of a, I don't want to say following, but you are going to feel your calling that's going to lead to a following, okay? You're going to experience a, a, a deeper following, like more clients, more friends, maybe more attention, more eyes on you, um, more demand for your gift something here it's like your calling is definitely going to bring more of a following <laughs> i'm also seeing that with judgment right next to the nine of pentacles back to you being very spiritually connected you will start to see signs connecting you to something very very abundant that you may have asked for that you maybe have forgotten but subconsciously your spirit remembers 
or maybe you haven't forgotten about it but you thought that it wasn't going to happen and you haven't seen signs of it in the last three four months now but we see something arising here with judgment okay because like the time is now you're being summoned you're being called hmm It's interesting too because this hand is being open for you to receive and then we have the nine of pentacles their hand is open as well to receive to receive the best to receive the most abundant as we look at cycles as well being that this is under the cycle energy in these next three months pisces i see like an uptick in your financial or your material abundance Okay, I definitely see an uptick. Something is definitely rising. Your value, your worth, your financial situation, your business, your opportunity, a salary increase. There's something here where it's it's rising. Just like these pentacle energies. Look, your your garden, remember we're talking about the seed? Your garden is flourishing and we see the fruits manifesting. Not only that, the pentacles are kind of like in the air, like they're floating in the air, showing that there's like abundance that surrounds you. All you have to do is extend your hand out to receive so there's a cycle the tables are turning here especially if you've been feeling down or if you've been feeling slow we see that you're going to receive this higher abundance okay and it's possibly due to you taking a break or due to you decluttering or again eliminating something excessive in your life to make room for something better hmm Nine of Pentacles. I'm also hearing like health. Health is wealth. For some reason that phrase came to mind. Health is wealth. So focusing on your health. Maybe you're seeing like your health. Of course, you know, as you're healthy, you're able to do more, gain more. Health is wealth. That's coming to mind too. Or maybe you're in the health industry. Maybe you're a coach. Yeah, that's coming in too. As we look at visualize under the fool, taking that chance, taking that leap. The fool also represents believing in the, the path ahead believing in their future in their vision we see the sun okay we see the sun here now that you've brushed yourself off and you see the light you see the possibility there's optimism there's optimism that is surrounding you here pisces and i do see that your motivation you're really going to be inspired you may even see it through spirit, universe, you know, your 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 guides, God, source, whatever your higher being is. Even look here, we see the sun in the background. A lot of sun energy. Some of you Pisces, you may be thriving with a Leo in your life. Okay, I'm getting fire, fire energy. Leo could be riding by your side. You may be meeting a, a fire sign in your near future uh, that will definitely you know bring some spark into your path. Leo and Aries, a Sagittarius. Um, you could also be going somewhere where it's very, very sunny, very, very warm. Hmm. Maybe that's that an environment that you're going to thrive in, in the desert or somewhere where it's sunny majority of the time. Maybe where your window faces, there's a lot of sun. Um, but the fool, we see you taking that chance. There is something here in the next three months that you're definitely going to be doing that may seem silly to others or may seem ridiculous, but you don't care. Okay, because you are visualizing this hope for yourself. You have faith. You're taking the leap. Even when people may, people that are closest to you, that love you, that care about you, they may be trying to hold you back for your protection. But you can't help but to be drawn it's like you know in your spirit your intuition right it's like you know that this whatever you're reaching for it's going to be for the better as we look towards the sun the sun is positivity okay the sun represents growth and fertility and also um like just abundance and energy so you feel drawn in these next three months you're definitely going to feel drawn like this is going to be better for me i can see it i can see this for myself I may be taking a, a, a silly chance, but I have a good feeling about this. And I think Spirit's going to show two, um, you know, signs here where you're going to have confirmation that whatever you have this good gut feeling about, it may be the way to go. Or it may be something to look into in these next three months. Now, as we look at wounds, we have the Ace of Swords. Isn't that interesting? The death here has their... Um, what is that called? Uh, is that a hoe or 
it, well, we'll see this as like a blade, and then we see like the Ace of Swords. So it's like victory is yours, Pisces. Also, um, I see you mentally, okay, because we're looking at air element. Mentally, your self esteem definitely increasing. Your self esteem is increasing. I also see I, uh, ideas flowing. It's interesting too because sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when we are the most hurt um, and we are like split open, that is when deeper healing takes place with what that hurt is replaced like with it can be a humbling experience too when you, you feel like you're defeated or you're knocked down and you will take in anything that will help heal you or close those wounds and you're open-minded to certain things so i see in end of july moving into early august there's some type of like um maybe for some of you there's like some news or i would say more like a resource or some type of knowledge knowledge that you're taking in that you're like ooh, you know what you wouldn't have known this though if you weren't hurt but this is going to almost be like life-changing for you okay yeah, there's something here where you wouldn't have known this or you wouldn't have heard this information or come across this or study this if you weren't hurt in some way. But it's almost like it needs to happen for you to come across this powerful breakthrough. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Is there one last thing that Pisces needs to know before we get to the Oracle card for Pisces? Is there one last thing that Pisces needs to know Let's see, is there one last thing Pisces needs to know before we get to the Oracle card? Okay. Oh, let me see. Okay, so we have King of Wands, we have the Hermit, and we have the Princess, or also the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to read this both ways because it did fly in. It did flip in reverse. So with the king of wands, the hermit and the page of pentacles in reverse, I'm hearing um, the message like let go of control. Okay. Let go of control, control and let go of things that you um it's hard to say it just yeah let go of control sometimes too when we are stubborn we think we can do things on our own or we try to do things on our own but we do need guidance okay we do need to connect to the universal powers or the energies um it's not to say that you can't do it alone, but you can go further and you can be bigger with the energies um, that surround you, okay? And letting go, meaning don't try to force something, okay? Don't try to force your way through situations that may not be ready for you to go down or that may not be ready for you to receive, let go of that sense of control you trying to control the situation the narrative the person the outcome almost like go with the flow now if we read this in the upright position pisces this is also showing that your your power okay the power that you possess it needs to be shown it needs to be shared it needs to be put out there in in order for others to receive and then when they receive you receive something here especially if you have an idea or if you are very determined to become someone or to do something it needs to like the hermit holds wisdom and knowledge and insight and experience life lessons right that light that they hold that that torch is meant to be passed down to light someone else's torch 
okay, to shine the light on something else, to shed light on something else. And I said this already here at the judgment. I really sense that in these next three months, Pisces, you're being used in a way where you're meant to help other people through the dark, to give them hope, to let them know that there is a possibility, there is a way, there is something else to look forward to. Okay, because this is a leadership energy here too. And they want to follow or they're, they are following. It's interesting how both of these cards have cats too. So um, I'm getting like introverted energy. A lot of you Pisces are extroverted energies or you're really good at being outgoing. And your outgoing energy will draw in people that maybe are more reserved or afraid to ask for help. Or they don't know how to ask. Or they maybe don't know how to speak up or defend themselves and you're here to like lead them through lead them through the fire lead them through the challenges lead them through the dark okay and show them lead them to the oasis huh it's like you're, you're showing them like where to be where like true like where their home is at because i see this too like as a place on fire and then wandering through the wasteland, the desert land, and then getting through the final destination. So in these next three months, Pisces, I, I do see like a lot of you, your purpose too is to help guide someone or something or a group of people like guidance. Very deep, very interesting. So we see the seven of cups and also the four of cups coming in here. Hmm. A lot of opportunities are going to be coming your way. I do see a lot of people are going to want you, again, a lot of people are going to want your attention. You may feel spread thin or you may feel like uh, you're just getting, you know, you're, you may want to do everything, go everywhere, connect with everyone, but just be very selective and mindful of where you are spending your energy. Because again, I am sensing like burnout or fatigue and when that happens, then there's typically this energy of just closing off and quitting altogether or wanting to just kind of clam up and be reserved. So just be careful because just because there are options that surround you doesn't mean you need you, you don't need to entertain all those options. Okay, pick the select few that matter. Now, again, if you're interested in your um, personalized mini reading for each month, I will leave down my Patreon link. I'm just telling you first, Pisces, because... <laughs> I'm going to give you the first chance. I don't have a, a lot of spots open because again, you know, I don't have time to do like thousands of, uh, you know, personalized readings, 300,000, but I will open this up to you Pisces. And then uh, I'll see, I'll see um, if you sign up now, I will give you a personalized energy reading for the remaining of June. And then um, you will be, you know, billed for each month and then you should receive your new reading in the first week of the month. So if you have questions, you can message me on the Patreon um, forum or group. But let's see, Pisces, what is your oracle? Let's see what your crystal is for these next July, August, September, July, August, September. Pisces, do we have a jumping crystal? Oh, here we go. Oh, tiger, tiger iron. Let's see, your affirmation is, I am grateful for other people's good fortune. It brings me joy to see others experiencing happiness. On the back, feel safe and protected, Pisces. Improve self-esteem, oh my goodness, <laughs> and confidence. Dissipate jealousy, extend blessings and goodwill to others, Ooh, and increase philanthrop philanthropic actions. So helping. Uh, basically, this is kind of what, wow, that's crazy. This is like, remember I was saying like being the guide, helping others, extending, you know, like your, your gift, your blessings, your goodwill working through wounds, mental wounds. That could be jealousy too, but um, could also be holding on to gr a grudge or just holding on to some type of resentment, working on your self-esteem and confidence. Know that you are worthy 
Know that you are capable. Wow. And knowing that the universe has you safe and protected. You are being guided. I can see this with judgment too. With this child holding up their hand, they are feeling safe. They are feeling protected. They know that the universe is guiding them to something much better, something bigger. The king of fire is being protected through the fire. Okay, The hermit is being guided through the desert, through the dark. Because you see their torches being led up to the sky. You could see, we could even see this as the universe igniting the torch here, leading them to this abundant land. Very, very... See, Pisces, your readings are so interesting. Um, I look forward to more bonus readings. But until then, stay well and be blessed.